वेलकम टू द शो टुडे शो इज कॉल्ड दिवेंद्र वाघ इन केस यू थॉट आई वॉज गोइंग समल्स विद इट आई एम वेरी क्विक आई मिक्स अप टू नेम्स एंड मेक श्योर दैट वी आर सेफ इन द नेम ऑफ द फादर और आगे मत बोलो बिकॉज दैट ऑल्सो विल बी अ प्रॉब्लम सो वी स्टॉप देर Uh, Rishi saying, "Yeah, yeah. Rishi's yeah. heart is beating. He doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to be behind the camera. He doesn't want to listen to me. And but you'll get fussed out. Let's be honest, people listening. If there's any controversial statement, everyone in the room is responsible. You cannot say the person in front of camera alone. It's like in a movie when Alec Baldwin, I can't risk or something. What the, what the movie where he shoots? Yeah, yeah. She rust. shot that rust, rust, risk. He shot that lady. He camera. did not shoot. Well, by mistake. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. he murdered her out of intent, yeah. but he shot her. Everyone is responsible for that. They're still after him, but the whole set is responsible. Production is responsible. Mm. The people who are cleaning the uh, set are responsible. Everyone is involved in that team effort. So same mm. here, as far as I'm concerned, Rishi. If we say anything wrong, you are coming down with the Titanic. Titanic, Anitu. What if I'm an AI, the voice of an AI? You're the Can voice of. Can they arrest an AI? <laughs> don't don't recommend all this to Amit. Just be careful. <laughs> in any case, we're looking in that direction. It looks like yeah. But right. so the questions. Hmm. First one comes from Anubhav Singh. Your views on the world's strongest man competition. Also, do you think that we Indians have the potential to dominate that contest? Also, what's your take on the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight? So this uh, guy called Mitchell Hooper has now become a, a big name in strongest man. I do watch. Um, I watch the old ones also. I love watching. But you have to be a genetic freak first. People have to understand everyone can't be in strong man. You have to first be a genetic freak. Then of course whatever chemical enhancement and all that happens with powerlifting, you have to at some level. And then. There's a very elite group of people who can do this. So when you say Indians can't do it, that's bullshit. You'd have to find just a few people, a few people with the genes that allow them to have this kind of power and strength. It, you have to search. Problem is we don't have that sort of traction. Imagine if we did in what we do in cricket, where we are finding people deep in some gully in Jabalpur. You are finding the next, you know, Virat Kohli. Hmm. You know, if you can do that, you will find talent everywhere. Give me the money, and I will go looking for powerlifting talent. I see it sometimes. I see a guy uh, on the road, a labourer. You can see his sort of strength and power, and you know, not just physique, not aesthetics. I'm talking about strength and power. Rishi is a small guy, but I've seen him pick up uh, a couple of the vendors who've come here and mm. throw them out of the door. Yeah, turned out to be guests, but he didn't know. But so these things happen. So we have the talent. This is rubbish. For example, people say, "Ki why? Why is India bad at rugby? Because we don't have big guys." Who said we don't have big guys? I have to find five big guys, and you don't have to go to North India to find five big guys. I find five big guys in Kerala or in Orissa. Hmm. You just have to find those. It's not difficult. There, one point four billions. We just need a few from one point four billion. It's not that bad. Every country has it. Okay, it's, 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 this is rubbish. Uh, thinking we to say, "Oh, we don't have the genes." We have the genes. Having said that, we don't have the culture. Powerlifting is still a very small sport. Very few people do it. And in urban India, the kind of people who come to gyms, they don't want to do powerlifting. They come and say, "A Vijay, Ikre, <laughs> Acha, I just roll my leg." You know, oh. so they're not going to become powerlifters, right? Because they're lying on mats and putting their bums up and doing all rubbish. So we have to remove all those people from gyms. I would say shoot them, but I guess people won't accept that. And uh, allow only people with ferocity and uh, aggression and who come there to train properly and have intent. They should be allowed. So don't start me off on this. It's a very very touchy topic. So I, now I've got irritated with all the urban people. I have to look at every morning. Who? What is the word that rhymes with boots? That's <laughs> what they are. All of them. Now talking about the Tyson fight, I feel very bad. He'll be fifty eight, I think, in May and July or June is the fight. Fifty eight year old man. No matter how talented he is, fighting a okay average boxer like Jake Paul, it's still unfair. It's just not fair. You know, I mean, uh, I, I, if Mike Tyson actually loses, I think Jake Paul should hang himself for doing this, for daring yeah. to spoil the legacy of one of the greats of all time. No question, eighty-six to ninety, one of the greats of all time. That prison sentence and all changed him. He became a softer human being. See, the same thing I'm telling you about Urban Boots. Mm. Same thing. The mental mentality changed in Mike Tyson. He was not the same ferocious Mike Tyson. But eighty-six to ninety, my God. Two or three rounds, you didn't have to wait longer. He would just come, hey, Bob, 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 Bob. Shorter guy, under six foot, but he just was unbelievable. What power! I would have loved to have him as a bodyguard. Every time I'm on the road and people irritate me, I would be, I'd release Mike Tyson. That, but eighty-six to ninety, so tuck, 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 tuck. Oh, Jake Paul sucks. Oh. 
Did Next you question. like read the news about Floyd Mayweather visiting Siddhi Vinayak? I not only read the news, <laughs> I think I was in Calcutta or something oh. out of Bombay at least when I got mm. this video of him and I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> Sometimes I think you're a boxer stay in the ring. But he was standing there and making some strange comments which he thought it was funny. And the funny part is in India, as long as you're a foreigner, you don't have to be famous. Let me tell you an example. So we did this Bakra when England was touring in 2004-05 uh, where... I took a, a gentleman who was of African American origin as a, as an actor, uh, who we found in Leopold, lovely guy, and we just kept him there in Dadar, okay, proper Dadar, which is very close to where I live and all that, and we would uh, pr pretend we were doing a shoot with him, like an outdoor shoot, and we kept calling him Andrew Flintoff. So people passing by say, "Corner," I say, "Andrew Flintoff," who was the captain. Okay, white as snow, six foot four. This guy was smaller and uh, of a different race. Everyone came and took pictures. Ah, Andrew Flint of, ah, I'll take a photo, I'll take a photo. Everyone took photos. They just believe it. As long as you're a foreigner, I'll give you a name. Now, how many people followed Floyd Mayweather's career who and Siddhi Vinayak? Opposite Siddhi Vinayak is sport's greatest enemy. Opposite means you just walk opposite, you'll meet sport's greatest enemy, Vijay Konalkar. Okay, he doesn't know Floyd from fucking Mayweather. I can tell you right now. Okay, so these are the kind of people who are there. Because let's, let's be honest, at that time, the day when he's gone there and all, there might be one... 5% of mm. people who know yeah. who he is. Right? But he's a foreigner. He's got all these people around him. Like Rihanna. She went to, uh, what's the name of the? Jamnagar. Jamnagar. She went to Jamnagar and uh, at the airport, everybody took pictures with her. You tell me all those bodyguards and uh, people in the, uh, the females in, uh, you know, uh, army clothing and fatigues and all that, they all follow Rihanna. I find it hard to believe, yeah. I'm not saying they can't because internet is huge and all that, but I just find it hard to believe. But she's a foreigner. The bow factor is there, 30 chamchas are around. Give me 30 chamchas, put me on the road, I'll be bigger than Shah Rukh Khan. Because people will just come and take pictures. Who is it? His name is Teri Maka. Teri Maka! He's very famous. I've seen his movie. Teri Maka, famous picture, Jangi Jawani, Nanga Nanga. This is the name of the picture. Bas, ho gaya. I'll sell anything. Give me 40 chamchas. I'm telling you right now. Hey, can we get 40 chamchas? We don't have anyone here. We have four people we left. We can actually we, get 40 chamchas. You can get 40 chamchas. Actual chamchas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have only four people. We can start a boy band. Let's yeah. face it. Nothing else. Right now. Yeah. What do we name it as? Let's do it fast before we are three. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll ask Ringo ka kya hua. Yeah. Okay, next question comes from Harves Pakasad. Your thoughts on reports coming out that selectors have requested Virat Kohli to drop himself okay, for T20 question, World Cup. This question on Virat Kohli came obviously earlier. Last night, he, when we were recording, last night 77 or 40 odd. Okay, man of the match. Won the game. Fair enough to say. So, I mean, T20 is ridiculous. Because if you perform the day before, you're in the team. All right, it's like uh, the, um, uh, that young Joseph, Shamar Joseph, who won the Brisbane Test. Within two days, he's been picked and uh, put in the Lucknow team. Uh, won the Brisbane Test against Australia, red ball, took seven for 68, but doesn't matter. Overnight sensation, suddenly turned the game around, uh, 10 to 1 odds, uh, West Indies was Australia in Brisbane, and then he comes to Lucknow for the T20 in India. The connection is actually very vague, but it's still there. So for me, this all this talk means nothing. Let's see how the IPL plays out. Let's say old man, old man, kitna old man. So uh, 36 year old Jadeja is there. 36 year old uh, uh, Rohit Sharma is the captain. So it's not like we, uh, we have old men all over. In Test, we have 37 year old Ashwin. So I think this is nonsense about the age thing. If Virat is performing, he will be in. If he has say five ducks in a row towards the end of the IPL, he won't be in. It's very simple. There was a fight between Ravi Shastri and Kevin Peterson where Kevin Peterson said that we need the game to grow in America. You need Virat, the superstar, to go there. F his batting potential and age and all. He just needs to be there as a symbol, as an ambassador. And Ravi Shastri said, no, we have to win. Which means that Ravi and Virat are not as close as I thought they were. And he said, no, no, we won in 2007 as a young team. What about politics? When will you get a young team in politics? This is my question to you. Politics is no young team. Father, son. Son, ka son. Son, ka son. And nobody vacates the seat. Father will serve as 87-year-old chief minister. It's very possible. By the way, there's a third Shiv Sena happening huh? as we speak. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you Malwa Hill politics. Wow. There's a faction now fighting in the Shinde faction already. And the funny part is there's one guy who's left the uh, Udav faction to go to Shinde now wants to go back to Udav. Man. I mean, that's like going back to your own wife. Yeah. Or so old company. No, no, no. To wife say girlfriend ke paas gaye, fir girlfriend ke interest gaye usme, and back to the wife. Very rare, yaar. I mean, you'll go to another girlfriend, I, I presume, but to go back to the yeah, wife. upgrade, no? <laughs> Not upgrade, it means like you made a big mistake. You're accepting. Yeah, yeah. Ouch, where have we gone with this conversation? We're talking about Virat Kohli, no? He uh, further adds for me, he has to be in the playing 11. There's still place for an anchor and he's the best finisher we have. I got. don't believe in the anchor in T20. This anchor is rubbish. You can't, what will you anchor? Uh, very rare, if it's a low scoring game, you need an anchor like chasing 100, then an anchor makes sense. Otherwise, where? There's no anchor left. Who's the anchor? Pujara would be playing in every team, no? 
you have batsmen who are fantastic quality batsmen. Anchors not fifty overs, yes, test match for sure. A traditional batting, but where the hell? I'm talking like I've made twenty nine centuries. But anyway, you know what I mean. I don't say place for anchors. It's to, you're chasing two hundred. Who can eat our balls? There's no anchor. Everyone has to come and perform. You make two three balls to get it, get into it, and then after fifteen balls, if you're not batting on twenty five, you're going to be not an asset, a liability. So I still think if he performs throughout the World Cup, and I think he will, he goes to US. Simple. Ravi versus Peterson. Watch that space. Mm. Okay, crazy skull. Ask why are we trying so hard to continue our species? As in Parsis? As in humans? <laughs> oh, human species. Yeah. Uh, humans are highly overrated after a point, na. No? There has been development and there's been all good things also, but uh, I don't want to use the word vikas. Other people are using it, but I think after some time, you know, the marginal utility of this product or progress is mm. just going. Yeah. What's the point? And uh, look at the way we destroyed all the flora, fauna, mm. and all that. I mean, there comes a point when you're just doing murder, na. No? You can't say no, but we needed to do this. How do we survive? But you take away the there'll be no lakes, there'll be no forests, there'll be no animals. The only animals are the two-legged ones who are crossing the road while you're driving. You only see them in movies. <laughs> yeah, we'll see them in movies. Literally, we'll say, yeah, oh, what is a bear? I'll show you. I'll, you know your uncle Kersi, like him, but bigger. See this, you know. I so I don't know. I don't know. Humans are highly overrated for me. See, I know that most animals they attack you because you're in their territory and they don't want you around. Mm. And they are scared, or then you're near the cubs or kids, or it's the mating season, and the male is super testosterone-driven, which is a rare thing. Like an elephant in must, it, you know, that time you want to stay away from a 12-foot, uh, 10-ton elephant who can kill you and is, wants to attack anything in sight. But these are all very clear parameters. But in humans, what happens is your best friend murders you. After 26 years, you don't know he's screwing your wife, he's killed your child, and now he's stolen your uh, entire property, and he uh, slowly poisons you, and you die watching him laugh. So it's a little. This is normal, by the way. What I've just told you, it's not rare. So this is a difference that won't happen amongst animals. They're very clear, black, white. There's no option. So I wish sometimes that we could have been animals only. And there were no humans. Maybe it would have been a better world. You never know. What do you do with the building? What do you do with this bloody internet? We shouldn't have evolved. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't have evolved. Okay, so we won't have cricket. But there are other games animals play. I mean, a dog can sniff his own ass. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, so what else? Is then <laughs> someone else is not a sport. <laughs> that's a passion. <laughs> okay, Nisha Mohan asks. What do you think about India saying that the Russia had a free and fair election? <laughs> this is a superb question. Uh, I without alcohol because I've not consumed for many years. It's difficult to answer this question with a straight face. Yeah, it's a free and fair election, and if they think uh, that's the parameter, then we are safe in 2024. <laughs> what are we worried about? There's nothing to judge here because as bad as that is, ours will be a little better for sure. So uh, it's just, I mean, for me, the funnier part is how Navalny died. Mm. The so-called opposition yeah. symbol. Let's yeah. not even call him leader because what they tried to kill him. A they couple tried of to kill him times, ten yeah. times. Yeah. They tried to kill him ten times. But I'm saying the actual death when it happens, it happens a little before the election. A, B, he goes for a walk and dies. <laughs> Now yeah. you have elders in your family, and if you're watching and of a certain age, walk is a big deal, right? Suddenly you realize that walk is the most dangerous thing a human being yeah. can do. Yeah. You know, before that, you don't lift weights or you don't play rugby, you don't play cricket with a season ball. All these things can hurt you. No, walk. People die out of walking. Now when he left his uh, so-called open prison, goes for a walk, and nobody tells us how he died. But he died because of walking. That's all we know. So for me, that was just fantastic. I mean, what, what is this democracy? What is left of it now? Let's go back to. Let's start all over again. Let's restart with Adam and Eve. Firstly, now with the woke uh, culture that we have, it should be Adam, Adam. Adam, Eve, 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 and then all the options. You know, names which are both genders. Like you know, you're not sure about it, like Roshan or something. You know, you have those names which are, which work with in both Kiran, one of my <laughs> favorites. Both both ways you're safe yeah, with the name. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why people don't do that. They should call the brother and sister both. The siblings should both have the same name like Kiran. I would love to see that. Yeah. This is Kiran, male. This is Kiran, female. <laughs> yeah. That's it. They should have that sign as well. Lovely. <laughs> what fun. Every party there will be a big hit. Hey, Kiran's come. Kiran female. Oh. Uh, okay. Adi asks, why do Indian parents treat their kids as an investment for old age, and should it make someone feel guilty if they fail in their respective yeah, career? Look at it this way: the Westerners, uh, if you look at it from their point of view, where they have these old age homes and all, they must be looking with envy. Yeah. At the way Indians are stuck with their parents and treat them like God, while mm. the father is like you know unable to urinate properly, or whatever. You're still touching his feet. He's losing his mind. Alzheimer's. He doesn't know who you are. You're still touching his feet. You're still mm. doing all these things. So I don't know what is the right thing here because having gone through all that, it's a little difficult because abandoning old people is a horrible crime. Also, mm. you know, I mean, you should abandon them when they're young. 
because then they were really evil mm. when they all how can you let people go and just put them in a home of course they'll tell you and it's happening in india also that you go by choice when you still have your mental uh, faculties working etc et mm. bangalore is a lovely place himisha one of our big fans and supporters has already uh, booked one place for me uh, and yeah so you good. can go and check in it's you know people like minded people and all you have that mm. but somehow i think in indian ethos is very tough to imagine people yeah. in the family But the one thing is, you lose your job, uh, you're spat at by your colleagues, you don't have a parking space anymore, your money is drying out. But when you come home, you're still the alpha, no matter how old you are. Why will an Indian male give that up when he comes and everybody says, "Dada, yeah, dada." Ego massage. Ego massage. Yeah, <laughs> and you're redundant because you're no longer working. So you're the you're the most painful member of the family. You can't cook, you can't clean, you can't walk the dogs, you can't help with anything, you can't balance the books, you can't help. Your advice is waste of time. Yeah. Lift bun, why not? Yeah, you know that's your big moment in the day. You send a message yeah, on all these WhatsApp. Yeah, all these angles. Keep fighting with uh, the watch. Watch, watch, watch the watch. Oh, exactly. <laughs> what lift, I'm telling you the WhatsApp I get. Lift khula tha. I mean, you fucking truth. Shut the damn lift, <laughs> na. Don't send WhatsApp yeah. and go. Watchman should be now hauled, uh, you know, straight to the torture chamber and shot three times in the head because the lift khula. Uh, the playground children shouldn't play there. Yeah, the anti playground. There has to be one member of a uh, older fraternity who's anti kids. Yeah, hmm. yeah. they shouldn't play there. They hit my car. The car is parked far away. They're playing with one small ball and all. This is ridiculous. Yeah, maybe after a certain age, we should just be put inside a mountain and left with no GPS or wrong GPS. We will reach China. Yeah. Then we'll see what happens to the oldies in China. Huh? <laughs> like I don't still don't know why they fight with the watchman. Like if the watchman says there's no water for I'll tomorrow. I'll tell you why they fight. With like the what watchman. can he do? <laughs> Sir, I'm a I'm a psychologist. I can answer this question. You fight all the low hanging fruit who you can bully. You never fight because you become redundant. You can't fight anyone anymore. You're nothing in society. One at one time, you're twenty people under you. You know, people are scared when you enter the office. You're the man who provides for the entire family. And then suddenly, uh, after sixty, that starts going. Who do you fight with? Nobody has time for you. They're just giving you fake respect, na. Baki ye tar ye pair pair. Baad mein pair se pair touch karte hain. No, he can't even see properly. Yeah, I'm gonna love you. So that. So all this shit is happening. And they always you'll notice that we people start attacking people who can't fight back. That's the first sign of a of of really losing your mind. Why do you have to do that? It's that's a big issue. Like for example, the Bombay gym, they want to fight with the uh, ask for feeding cats. Let's get them for feeding cats. They won't fight with the chief minister for taking the ground na, uh, and holding yeah. a rally. Nobody talks then or a big marathon to come and they shut the parking and the area. They won't fight. It's there. funny to look at them when they are with another alpha. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. there's no question of alpha. They're not That's alphas. They're so anymore. powerless. <laughs> they're jokers. You attack the guy who's feeding the cats because that you can. You attack the watchman because that you can. And then you put it on WhatsApp like you're uh, uh, yeah. Sherlock Holmes. I have found I have out. And Mr. Everything. Rao had left the door open and Jadav is. Not shut the door from downstairs. Both of them should be shot. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Get a life. Yeah. Oh God, I'm I'm very worried about old age. If I become like that, please, I'm telling you, people watching, come and shoot me. Just just take me to the back of the house and two bullets back of the head and end the matter, please. This this is too much. This is what are you doing? You're spending the whole day being this crotchety, crusty, unhappy, irritable, screwed up person who gives no positive energy. Hmm. You can yeah. see that because you're always looking for mistakes. Yeah, yeah, and small yeah, mistakes. Yeah. And it's not my family or my building. It's across the Everywhere, world. Yeah. So obviously we shouldn't retire people. Abey sir, you don't retire. If you're not doing well in IVM, we will find you another job. Ah, yeah. <laughs> huh? there's a plastic surgeon just opposite. Ah, yeah. huh? you can work there. Now, normally male nurses don't have these long beards, <laughs> but you can play a role if the if, if the surgery goes wrong. Abey sir's pictures. What you want to see? You think Bhagwan to aagya? Ab mera last shot. <laughs> Maharaj going to heaven. He was Santa Claus, no? Yeah. Keeps the spirit side. Can I tell you my Santa Claus story? But of course, Abey sir's a real beard. Abey sir Banchot. He's <laughs> got a real beard. Yeah. So what happened is, and this is a real. I I can't lie about this guy. So I'm I'm. You'll say again, Kunal, Kunal, no. But I have to tell you. So we had at the Bombay gym. My son was just seven. My daughter was uh, three or four. And but that's the time when they all, clean, you know, they just want to see this Santa Claus. It's a big deal for a little while. And so we had a Santa Claus coming and they're giving the kids presents and all. Poor guys were actor like us who didn't get a better gig. He was a thin guy with a pillow. Wow. The problem is the pillow is okay. Pillow <laughs> kept slipping. Who rasi se band ke pancho? How will it work like that? And then the beard kept coming off and he's got a gaunt face. You know, like Rishi's face, like a thin young man. So like the, even third world Santa Claus is not going to be able to do it. Malnourished Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So then finally one child. No, one child looks at Kunal and says, "Why can't Uncle be Santa Claus?" <laughs> oh, That's funny, wow. but here's what happens: some committee guy says, uh, "Kunal, Kunal, can you wear the beard and go?" They're not liking this Santa Claus. So then finally he became Santa Claus. No pillow, nothing. Face like Santa Claus, just attached the beard, and everybody was happy. He just accepted. It's it. like racism. 
he was sweet enough at that time he was a better human being no now he's become like those old people no uh-huh. oh, why 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 is he crossing the road here yeah. <laughs> oh don't start so the later part of the question and should it make someone feel guilty if they fail in their respective career meaning if the kids fail in their respective career should they feel guilty the kids or the parents kids kids but failing is the natural pos- uh, i mean how can you not fail i think firstly parents should always tell the kids you're going to fail don't tell me you're going to succeed tell me you're going to fail you get used to failure then failure means nothing how can you not fail think of a stupid boy especially with males you tell them that you're the greatest ever and then he only fails in america when he's alone and suddenly he can't achieve whatever he wants to achieve because everything is padded for him here and then he starts realizing that he's useless and self esteem crumbles other way around is better i'm saying you're a chut your life sucks the world sucks everybody is evil start from there and just go up now yeah. you're already at the bottom what's the worst mm. failures look at us Our 29 years in the business we don't know if this damn uh, podcast will continue we don't know if i'm going to get my show back on the air we don't know uh, you know next week if that event will happen or not so there's failure is always there yeah. i think occasionally you get success you enjoy it mm-hmm. don't make too much out of it and get on with it failure is, is your friend for life enjoy failure and once you get married there's even more failure if you know what i mean yeah Okay. See, what do you know? You don't know yeah, married no. yet, boss. Who's all the great? Great. I'm. Yeah, I'm good you're, that way. <laughs> that you're double failure. Yeah. You fail at career, then come on, fail at home. Yeah. Where do you go after that? Yeah. Then you become that old man. Nah? Yeah. Ah, Parda ke piche ho. Eh. Oh, Neha Sharma. <laughs> She's a really dirty girl. <laughs> okay. Next question comes from Adam Khur. What's the one thing that you really wish there was an app for? Oh, uh, one thing, hundred uh, percent for me is uh, lane discipline. how to catch people out on in traffic and all. of course these are issues that only motorists will understand but it's just unfair the way you know they target you occasionally like for example the cops are not active all the time they active only when they feel like it okay so then it, everybody slips into this uh, strange kind of behavior I, i think everything should be like in china where everything you do is monitored mm. by the cc yeah. and, and it goes in your social security page so then you you're giving points which are deducted so then you will lose uh, the rights as a citizen to many things like buying things in public going out in public your social security benefits they will get cut your bank uh, allotments will get cut hmm. your position in society gets completely disfigured ah. i'm saying that's the way to teach people lesson because what happens is they only catch at certain times or whatever and we have no discipline in our country it's very irritating for me yeah. do you think if we have like self driving cars this will solve the issue no but tell me one thing self driving cars may solve the issue but I, I, i'm sitting in my lane after 9 days i was just here for 2 days in between back again out out of bombay with my dog sitting in a corner the guy comes up the one way so i don't fight with them now i try to talk so i'm telling him sir one way se kyu aaya ah galti hua <laughs> so you explain the back off yeah. so i said galti hua ka matlab kya hai are a mistake so this guy was not an aggressive guy so he more difficult to handle because he's backing off so he's not being angry or anything but i know he's shameless there is nothing in his mind which says that he is feeling bad he is just not a bad natured person so he doesn't want to shout at you or anything but he is basically shameless and probably he'll do it again yeah. no but my point is it's not in his head ki yeah. i shouldn't do this mm. and i'm never able to understand that that whenever we discuss the one way fight they never seem to understand we are in the wrong we are trying to give a bahana why it happened mm. you know meri bivi ka wo bimari hai na amritsar mein meri bivi jo bimar hai us uske wajah se main idhar fas gaya the, the connection is loose that way Yeah. I want maybe it's like the first time yeah, I want someone has I can remove like... people only from earth. Huh? It's called a gun. Uh, no not a gun. But but I press a button and they disappear. Vanish. Again yeah, no I, like Thanos no. Like, like Thanos but no no, 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 no let's not kill I'm a pacifist <laughs> 500 years away. Okay or, or they all land up in uh, one area. North <laughs> Korea. No Gir Forest. <laughs> North Korea. Gir Forest are out lines are very weak here. They all underweight. So we send them there and then it's your luck. Hungry lion. Survival of because, the fittest. <laughs> because from <laughs> <laughs> the Lions Club of Gir, it's called so the Lions Club of Gir. Yeah, they might eat the lion. <laughs> <laughs> that day will come, Abhishek Banjol. That day will come. Don't say these things. <laughs> so, to remove humans, you need that an app. Well, not remove. See, remove, exterminate. I don't like that because that's like you know. I mean, that's too far. I want to remove them from the area as some sort of penalty. So just send them somewhere else. Like if they are here in South Mumbai, I transport the them somewhere else. So they go to Daisar immediately. You know, it's like that. This is inconvenienced. Let's do that much at least. And then depending on the aesthetics, if it's a good-looking woman who's done something wrong, I may just go to the next lane, not more. If you're very ugly, three male, blocks away. Yeah. Then yeah, then you have to go straight to Dombivli, and that too in an area which where you can't get out. It'll take hours. You know, we figure that out. We have GPS. Okay, Kulfi Panda 
ask why aren't why aren't teenagers working in cafes or any other sort of place to earn money normalized in india like we see in foreign countries yeah but then foreign countries they don't live with their parents yeah. when you live with your parents your your my son uh, give me your phone i want to order zomato send him to canada can't do anything send him to some uh, you know hill station and study there he can't do anything but here we are screwed everything is mm. padded by us it's yeah. our fault as parents the kids you're talking about who are working in mcdonalds and all that i've seen that when i was in new york in 94 you try to get jobs wherever you can because you have to pay bills it's a good way to teach uh, to get people to understand the world that's coming we don't have that culture no like oh. there it's expected to but, leave the house by 18 but that's why when sparsh comes from delhi here he needs his pagar and he takes his work seriously no while uh, you're already relaxed you go back to panvel your mom will make food everything <laughs> yeah. you know, just that journey true, is a bitch yeah, true but yeah. it's all good man But why do you think we don't have that culture? No, we don't have that culture because we are padded. We are family feudal system. The family feudal system protects, and in a way, it uh, softens the male and the female, but more the male. And then the male just doesn't know how to cope after some time. They they just at eighteen they I have it's people, expected. No, like, they pay if they stay. They have to pay uh, their rent, parents' yeah, yeah. rent. They're teaching them in a way. It sounds cruel, but teaching them. And then if a guy lives in LA and I put him in East Coast. How's he going to manage? It's all ex- it's an expensive, expensive country. Yeah. So while he's studying, he has to take a job. You work in the library, you work in the gym, you work in McDonald's, you work in a cafe. You become a pimp. Uh, no, no, don't become a pimp. <laughs> I mean, and I, but I they have to I mean, pay like business. so much, no rent, yeah. student loans, and everything. The worst is when you think you're a musician. Uh, that's that's the most dangerous. Yeah. And they start you know thinking that. No, no, they, they, they think they'll just make a rap song and yeah. become the next uh, Snoop Dogg or the big gun is down. That's very scary. I told my kids no rap. Please don't waste time. Better stay at home. <laughs> okay, Dhruv asks, what's the importance of marriage except raising the next generation and getting sex? <laughs> There's no sex. <laughs> That's just the first part of marriage, and after that, that will go. Second, also from the male side, it's not like the male is that interested. Also, so the male shouldn't say, "Oh, she doesn't give me sex." Mm-hmm. Nah, we all know. <laughs> uh, strike one. Strike two. Companionship. After some time, if you have a dog, much better relationship. Sometimes the same gender friend can be much easier to talk to. Uh, and I don't mean to say that you're preferring sexually this gender or that, but sometimes it's just easier because say you both like football, mm. you both like animals. Common interest. A common interest, so you know, and they and they don't uh, generally with the males. I I find that males don't hold other males to high standard. Nobody says that boss, your bed is not made. I've never heard a male, my pal Vikram or Sami, don't come and say boss, your bed is untidy. Mm. Kunal does, but Kunal <laughs> is on the line of the line. Yeah. So that's a good thing, na. There's no pressure, you know, with the male relationship, really. What do males say? They don't hold you to any uh, standard. Do, do males ever tell you, "Ki boss, your shoes are terrible"? Uh, you know, really you say no. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm. Uh, I don't know. This marriage thing is tough. I'm working on it. Yeah, but you're right. Without kids, I don't know how people have survived without kids. Marriages. Do you think it's necessary? Not necessary. I'm saying kids will bind you together. You're stuck, na. You have to pay bills. But the problem is, if, if there's no kids, uh, why are you together? You wake up and say, "Reka, up." <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hello, Rani. Let's go for a drink. I mean, I would do that for sure. I, I, I. I so would my wife. I'm sure. I mean, not with Rekha or Rani, but somebody else. I mean, after some time, it's, why would it be the same? It, the coupling becomes the only time it works. I think is when you're so old that you need someone and nobody else is there. Then you're stuck. Literally, it's like you know, bad lottery. You lost, got the wrong ticket, and you're stuck with the other person. And then whoever's slightly healthier is screwed. But they have to do everything. God, I hope it's not me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Okay, next questions from Smooth Influenza. What happens if we replace the government with an AI? Well, would it really make a difference? Because we know what what is coming in, in most cases. Yeah. Is the programming is very clear? It's not unclear. As long as there's some vikas, we shouldn't uh, complain. At the moment, my vikas, I'm a little worried about because speaking of the podcasting uh, structure, we we'll see where that's going. In the next year or so, we'll really know. Um, but. Uh, I don't know if AI will make that much of a difference because the programming is coming from whatever programs they have. They'll follow the same thing, so I'm going to change. And as but you do know, you think it will be corrupt in a way? But if you're not corrupt, how do you run a government? It's not possible. People are asking for again the high standards. Yeah, ridiculous. You have to be corrupt. My point is how corrupt. Like for example, that 15 lakhs that was promised in 2014, um, I have not received it. Now I'm not saying it's corrupt, but these false promises and all, you know, they're irritating after some time. Do you think AI will promise something like that? But then they have to deliver. I'm saying, no, because the AI's programming is more solid. I would think the problem here is that in my family we are five people. So that's seventy-five lakhs. It's per citizen. Abhi sir is alone, so bichara ko pandra lakh milega aur kuch nahi. So when will that money come? Do we get compound from 2014 to 24? Ten years compound interest. I'm looking at fifteen uh, lakhs being something more close to twenty-six, twenty-seven lakhs per person, which now puts us in seriously decent money. You know, 
Then my kids don't have to work at McDonald's. Mil gaya thoda. And imagine hypothetically if everyone receives that money. Then don't worry this government will stay for next 3 generations. That's for sure. If they one master stroke if they can What do think this. what do you think that will happen like the most common thing that will happen if everyone receives 15 lakhs tomorrow. It's like a bribe people will be very happy. You overlook all the little problems you're having. Is it just metro? But the, everything yeah. will be expensive, no? After that, mm, I suppose that's the law of economics. Things will go up, but then would you rather things go up or get the money and not go up? I as in not get the money and uh, not go up. So you have to think about that. And Lakshadweep will be overcrowded. <laughs> Lakshadweep will be overcrowded. We'll just yeah. start buying the Laksh- beach. Lakshadweep was going to be the <laughs> next big thing. Yeah, we are waiting. Yeah, really, really. I I would buy a IPL team with the kind of money I'm making now, thanks to the government, straight away. I'll take the team which is really not performing. I'll have to see one of the bottom two, and I'll just take them. By the way, did you all uh, mention the fact that Hardik Pandya got booed in Ahmedabad? Yeah, right? yeah. Wow, unbelievable. And I'll tell you something. Going back to Ravi Shastri, hi hi, in my generation, people they just caught on unnecessarily. Only because he was a good-looking guy, he appeared to be. I don't know why we used to bat slowly sometimes, but then all the crowd would do it. Ravi Shastri, hi, just just like a joke. I'm telling you that Hardik will get abused, uh, and Rohit chance will happen in all ten centers. Yeah. Not yeah. in one, yeah. not Ahmedabad because they are feeling Vishwas. It's very personal guys. now. No? I'm, yeah, I'm telling you, go to Hyderabad, he's going to get it. Rohit, Rohit is going to start. Yeah. He goes to Kolkata, he's going to get it. Rohit, Rohit is going to start. I know the Indian crowd. So Hardik, if you're listening, uh, just be prepared that you're going to have to take it as the Australians say, cop it on the chin. Yeah. Okay. Now the last question comes from Sunit Cham. From whom do you think Kunal Vijaykar bought electoral bonds for? Who <laughs> <Poor> Kunal Vijaykar? <laughs> I mean, with all due respect, if you see the greatest names in business are basically from two or three communities. How many Maharashtrians are there? Let's be honest. Mr. Vijaykar is an artist. Okay, that's where the Maharashtrians are strong. Doctors, engineering, yes. But on enterprise, not too many. My good friends, the Garwares, were decent for a while, but not really at the top of their game anymore. However, uh, Mr. Vijaykar, if he had to buy electoral bonds, I have coached him. You buy from everyone. Be secular in politics. Okay, you buy for everyone rather, so that everyone benefits for the greater good of humanity. And in case somebody else comes to power, you're still sort of a friend. I have coached him; yeah. he will play with the correct game. It's the only way to do it. There is, I'm telling you honestly, this is all bullshit. That the big guns are only buying for the main government or for the main opposition. It's not like that. Everybody's put their finger everywhere, and they yeah. work it out. They might be giving more to this because you believe if you're a bookie, you know that BJP's chance of coming are ninety percent. If you're not going to, you know, give so much money then to let's say Aam Aadmi Party with the chief minister in jail, it's a fair deal. But just as a businessman, clinically, not because of any loyalty, why would you not put everything? You know, it's like you don't put everything in one uh, mm, one uh, basket, commodities yeah. put, uh, market or something like that. You have to have different things. Abhay Sir Bencho has four girls, uh, which he rotates, right? No, I mean to to come clean your house. <laughs> What did you think? <laughs> okay, that's all the questions, Cyrus. Yeah, it's been another from Devendra Wag. Uh, the name of the show. We are looking for you guys to ask us more difficult questions, and maybe we'll get a second person to answer them as well. Let, let's see. I mean, if there's someone left here, I want Suresh to take over the show mm. as the next generation. Our canteen guy, Suresh. Till next time, we we'll leave you with this wonderful picture. My face missing. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasts Network. On Cyrus says, Cyrus is joined by his friend, former MTV VJ, travel influencer, and now author Shenaz Treasury. Shenaz talks about her new book, All He Left Me Was a Recipe, and shares candid tales of her dating adventures. On Pesa Vesa, Anupam Gupta is joined by Simant Shukla, Chief Business Officer at JM Financial Mutual Fund, for an insightful discussion on the growth of mutual funds in India's small towns and cities. Folks, if you like our shows, spread the word, tell your friends, and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You'll also find all our shows on YouTube.com/IVMPodcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week: Omedia Network India, IDFC First Bank, and ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible.